Greetings, Pod fans! It's day 24 of Pod Vahida. Pod videos himself every day in April. And today, I'm gonna talk about the, what I was told about to talk about in the video like three days ago. Does that make sense? Probably not. So, Isabella Dwyer left a comment, and the words in that comment read as follows. Tips on tattoos? Why do you have the tattoos that you do? It's a good question. Um, <laughs> I think I've talked about a lot of this before, but... Repetition, repetition, repetition. So, uh, tips on tattoos, I guess. So, you're looking to get a tattoo, I guess, or you're thinking about getting a tattoo. You're having all these thoughts, trying to figure out what would be best for you, or, you know, if you're even gonna like it, if it's gonna be too painful. All of these crazy ideas. So the only real advice that I can give you is get a freaking tattoo. I didn't know if I'd like them. I liked the idea of them, but I didn't know if it was gonna be something that you know, I would want and get. I now have five tattoos, the first of which was this this little boy here. Um, it is the Imperial logo from Star Wars, the logo of the Galactic Empire, the bad guys. And uh, for ages, ages and ages and ages, I was trying to figure out what I would get as my first ever tattoo. And I had these ideas that were like amalgamations of everything that I liked, pushed into this one little circle. Oh yeah, it was gonna be so good. And then I realized how freaking crowded that would be and just if you're putting all of the references into one thing that's gonna look pretty bad. So after much much thinking and much much deciding I decided on this right here. This is where I wanted it and I was like yep this is what we're gonna do. And the reason, the reason for, for it being this, uh, Star Wars has been something that I've loved since uh, 1999 when I was brought to see The Phantom Menace in cinemas with my dad, by my dad. He brought me to see it and that started me down this road. So after all that, I was wondering how do you get a tattoo? I didn't know any tattoo artists, I had never seen the process of going in and talking to someone and it took months, months of knowing exactly what I wanted but not uh, knowing how to go in and do it. So eventually I had a chance meeting where I bumped into my friend and I was like how do I tattoos? And he was like what are you doing right now? Nothing. Let's go! So I was brought to the tattoo parlor, made to talk to the people, a couple hours later I had my first ever tattoo. And uh, instantly it was like, I walked out and I was like, I like these, I need a lot more. So it wouldn't be until a couple of months later that I finally decided on my second one. For this we gotta strip a little bit, um, most of you have seen this, I get topless quite often. But this is the second ever tattoo that I got, it's a big, big two black bars with horns! Um, and it is... Part of Kamina from Gurren Lagann, his uh, big old body tattoo. I decided to get just a section of it in black because I like I like the color. It's nice. And yes, that was something that I really wanted. Again, it doesn't have super huge meaning. Uh, tattoos, you know, people would be like, you have to get something that matters to you. Star Wars matters to me. Kamina from Gurren Lagann ma mattered to me. There's no deeper meaning than I like the characters or I really like the movie and, you know, the Empire are great. That's about how deep it gets. The next one that I got was uh, the first real meaningful tattoo with all these inverted commas appearing everywhere. And for that I got the Roman numeral for two, just two eyes, um, on my ankle. Uh, because I was in Vegas with my brother and my sister and we decided we were going to get family tattoos. My sister getting number one, me getting number two, my brother getting number three. Which was real cute and real adorable and, you know, it's a family tattoo. It's nice having that as a link to them. So that, that was like, I guess, meaningful. The next one I tried to talk about a couple of days ago and realized I had already talked about, that was the duck tattoo. There's no real deep meaning to that. Um, I've looked up duck tattoos and it's something about like, you know, easily adaptable, you know, you swim, you fly, you walk. But really, I only got it just because I like ducks and I wanted to get it all colorful and with a pun on it just because we different. But again, no real deeper meaning other than Ducks are my favourite animal. The final one of the five that I've gotten is uh, this here, which is um, my uh, semicolon tattoo, which uh, I got again with my brother and my sister for uh, World Suicide Prevention Day. Uh, the same semicolon represents, uh, in the English language, it's where you can could have stopped a sentence, but instead you put a semicolon, so it moved on to the next one. So that has meaning to me. Um, Myself and my siblings were very like, yeah, uh, things. So yeah, I've got two which are meaningful. They're like family tattoos. They're, you know, they have a deeper meaning. 
and three tattoos that are just whatever. So uh, I guess to get back to my point on, so you want to get your first tattoo? Just think of something that you have liked forever, decide on a design, decide on something that you want, a place on your body that you want it, and then talk to a tattoo artist. Walk in and say that you want to discuss it because it's great to talk to someone who's done this before, who knows how good something will look, who can visualize something on someone's body, they will talk to you. You don't have to listen to their advice. You can always just say, mm, okay, you don't think it'll look good? I do, so we'll get it anyway. But I would recommend listening to them. By talking to them, you can flesh out the idea a bit more, you can get it designed a bit more, you can make it all fancy, or you can make it as basic as you want, and you can figure out what they can do and what they would like to do with your tattoo. So that's basically it. Figure out something you want. It doesn't have to be, you know, ooh, this is uh, my footprint from when I was two and I fought that bear. It can literally be, it's a Rubik's Cube, because I like Rubik's Cubes. But yeah, pick something that you like. Don't think too hard about it. Talk to your tattoo artist. And if you're not sure about tattoos, get it somewhere like, you know, that won't be seen or, you know, that you don't really care to have a tattoo, and from there you can figure out if you want to get more. Does that help anyone? I don't know, I did just kind of ramble. But those are my thoughts on tattoos, I really like them, they're cool and I have to get more soon, yay! But anyway, that's all for today, I will talk to you all tomorrow with something, who knows, it could be a thing. So we'll see you then. Alright, enjoy your lives, live well, and don't lose your way. Sloan.